loves welcome to my channel sun love stars welcome to today's pick a card reading i'm super excited for today's pick a card reading because i think it's a really fun pick a card reading to know how people view you especially if we categorize it in like how do men view you and how do women view you i think it's like super interesting also to see like the contrast between how men view you or what men notice about you the most and um, what women notice about you the most okay so I am super excited for today's pick a card reading to be honest with you guys because if you watch pick a card readings you know that you are nosy <laughs> okay and today we're going to fulfill your nosy <laughs> your nosy mind your nosy third eye okay just to see how people view you again especially how do men view you and how do women view you okay if you feel called to choose more than one pound meaning like when i did the reading or when i prepared everything i was thinking like oh you could also possibly choose one pile for how men view you because i'm gonna like when you watch pile number one i'm going to talk about like men and women in that pile but if you feel called to um choose another pile like you watch pile number whatever to see how men view you and then you want to choose another pile and see how women view you that you only watch the women or the men part in one pile if you feel drawn to that or if your intuition told you to do that then go ahead just do it for anybody who's um a little bit in these size of today or you feel like you're not really tapped into your intuition today take a deep breath become one with your soul mind body and spirit okay because in the next clip there's going to be music and you can like take a breath and then choose a pile or go on google find a number generator and ask your spirit guides to come through and spit out the number of the pile that you're supposed to watch um i think i forgot to say for anybody who's new my name is cynthia hello <laughs> Not rambling without further ado i'm actually really in love with the pink light you know and um, i don't know if you guys have noticed it but i love the color pink it's like my favorite color ever since years i think but i don't know i mean um, i really love the vibe today i don't know it's beautiful anyway we're gonna look at how men versus how women view you okay we're not gonna make this intro too long in the next clip you can choose between three images okay and i'm going to see in your reading guys So you chose this beautiful image here let's find out how do men view you and how do women view you secretly 
<laughs> okay so that's the image that you chose i'm gonna channel the energy first okay and then we're gonna look at the cards together where i'm going to show them to you we're gonna start with how men view you and then we're gonna look at how women view you okay so give me a moment here I pick up the energy that men view you as somebody who has like a very intense presence. I pick up the energy that men perceive you as like a very intense person, okay? Now this could pertain to like you have like a very intense you have a very intense gaze when you look at men, especially men that you find interesting or sexy. You have like a very intense gaze or there's something about, there could also be an energy where you have like a very intense walk or the way that you dress is very intense, meaning that um, the way that you dress does catch people's attention. Not that it is necessarily, necessarily revealing, it could be for some of you guys, but I also pick up the energy here that maybe you have like a, there's something about your fashion that I pick up here. I'm seeing somebody here wearing gloves and leather and black or like wearing hats, okay? And pick up the energy that you put a lot of effort into like the way that you dress. But it's not about like impressing other people. It's about like you want to express who you truly are. And there could be a hint of you where you you like to express yourself with the way that you dress or you like to wear certain items or pieces that really catch people's attention there's something that catches people people's attention with the way that you dress okay because it could be possibly unusual or it could be like very very colorful or very very bling bling but when i look at the high priestess here just from the outer appearance and then we're going to tap into a little bit deeper okay but if I look at her, she looks like, I don't know, I'm picking up the energy that men view you as you, you are dressed, as if you are ready to go somewhere important. Picking up the energy that you, again, for some of you guys, it is because you um, love to wear like skirts or you love to wear something where your chest is, you know, seen or you really like to express yourself with your fashion, which is, I think, like the first thing that people see when they look at you or again this could be like a particular thing even if you tell me i like to dress very casually but i love to wear like big earrings or something like that there's something about like um an accessoire um that you wear that catches people's attention or um there's an energy where again there's also something like i'm picking up the energy of like something edgy about you and um, men view you as like edgy almost i would even say like dangerous but what i say with dangerous men view you as a woman that they cannot play with or that cannot be played or that it is really hard um even if you are a guy okay that it is really hard to like i don't know to get to you but this is not about you not necessarily being open to people, but it's kind of like there's something intense about you. This could be like your voice is very intense when you speak, okay? Or there could be an energy where you have no problem like gazing at somebody and having like very intense eye contact or you don't blink when you look at somebody or you come really close to somebody when you look at them like really zoom, you know, like laser focus. There's something very intense about either the way that you... Um, express yourself with the way that you dress or again this could be like little things like accessoires or something that you wear that not everybody is wearing like you love to maybe wear hats or you love to wear big earrings or gloves or something with like leather or again this could also be an energy where some of you guys really like to wear things that are revealing or you like to um do a little peekaboo like with like a skirt and then there's something on the side or there's something about like picking up the energy again that men view you as somebody who has who has a very intense character this could be like for example you know those women that wear i'm not saying that you wear high heels for some of you guys you do okay um but i'm picking up the energy of like a woman that wears high heels or a man that wears like something how can i say that i'm i'm, I'm, I'm hearing statement pieces for some of you guys and for others of you like the way that you walk into a room is a statement because it's like very intense there's something about yeah i'm also picking up men view you as like somebody who's very confident in who they are and you are not the type of person to start a fight with okay you seem a little bit intimidating to men again it doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman but you seem a little bit intimidating to the point where 
not everybody would approach you because most of the time men think that you would reject them or that you are too busy for them so there could also be an energy where you are overall a very busy person men see you as somebody who always like you're always working on something or you're always busy with something almost this energy as if you don't have time for them or as if you are too busy focusing on yourself or as if you are too busy working on a bigger project or as if you are too busy working on something is what i'm picking up here okay i'm also picking up yeah i'm picking up the energy that um men view you as somebody if they want to be your friend if they want to work with you they have to like um they have to be just as honest and as blunt as you because I'm picking up a very blunt and honest um, energy from you that you say things like you speak the ugly truth or you are okay with saying something that could possibly you know like start a big conversation or shake up the table if that if that makes sense there's something about you don't hold back because I'm hearing you don't like bullshit and people can see it on your face that you are like a very um, that you are a very blunt almost like provocative and edgy person you seem or people see you or like men view you as like almost like a rebel but not a rebel without a cause but maybe like a rebel with cause or like a rebel in society with the way that you either speak about society or with what you want to talk about like the topics that you choose in a conversation or this could be that you look like a rebel just with the way that you dress because it's very unconventional or not everybody's walking around with like very you know, like with a big head or with gloves or something like that or like with very dark eye makeup there's something going on here or like very revealing being very open with your sexuality and stuff like that there's something about like um, men view you as somebody that cannot be put in a box that you are somebody who how can I explain that? They are kind of like a rebel. I, I keep feeling like they perceive you as a rebel. They perceive you as like a very intense character. And they perceive you as somebody who is, again, like very busy. Or I'm, I'm also being brought to your hands. There could be an energy where... Yeah, I'm also I'm also hearing that you have a hidden talent. So when men get to know you, they're kind of surprised because um there's like a hidden talent that you have or there's like there's something hidden about you. So and there could be like a hidden talent that you can sing, that you can dance. Um I'm also being brought to like um if I could describe your energy, I'm being brought to like um a man that sees you somewhere and they have this perception of you again that you are like very busy you are very intimidating to people but um there's also men that really like it because you per they you are perceived as like a very dominant person a very dominant man a very dominant woman like almost like you don't let other people tell you what to do you don't let other people tell you how to dress and again there's something about rebelling against society or um that you i'm also hearing that you have fun rebelling that you have fun wearing something provocative or that you have fun talking about something provocative it's kind of like you need a little bit of like you don't like lukewarm conversations you like conversations where you debate um where maybe sometimes you agree to disagree um or you like conversations where you can really like how, how can i say that it feels like you like conversations that make you think that you also i'm also hearing that you like to debate not that you like to argue but you like to challenge people's um opinion you, you like to challenge people's viewpoint okay again there's something about like men perceive you as somebody who's like very challenging very dominant you have like a very opinionated nature okay you have like a very opinionated nature and they're actually really really drawn to you because of that because there's something i'm also hearing there's a lot of men coming to you that like a challenge so you attract men that like a challenge but men that don't like a challenge will not approach you because they will perceive you as you are too like you have an attitude or you are too hard to handle or you are like high maintenance and stuff like that but i'm picking up i pick up like a I pick up like a dark feminine energy or like a dark masculine kind of like that you embrace the shadow meaning you could be embracing your shadow with the way that you dress maybe you dress a little bit darker or you embrace your sexuality you know because like being open and free with your sexuality is frowned upon but you could be somebody that just because I show a little bit of like 
my chest doesn't mean that I sleep with a hundred men and I um, don't give a an F about what people think of me. I just like to wear it. It's a little bit revealing, but um, like I'm also hearing like the body is nature, like nipples are nature. This is all nature. So why do we act as though it's something that we have to hide? I also feel like you would be the type of person of like free nipples or why do we have to wear a bra not for everybody and for others of you again there's something about you could be um wearing or you could be dressing in a way where again it's kind of like dark and a little bit intimidating like dark makeup or again something about like leather and um something about how can i say that you could also be wearing like again like very something provocative that is written on your t-shirt i'm also being brought to like t-shirts like i'm being brought to, to park energy but i'm also being brought to like a little bit of like gothic energy again i'm hearing an outcast do you say an outcast or like a misfit is what i'm hearing now an outcast a misfit and somebody that really stands out in the crowd like a sore thumb <laughs> okay people cannot overlook you and even if you tell me that you completely wear very casual very normal the moment you start to speak you, you stick out in the crowd like a sore thumb because the topics that you choose or even the way that you express your opinion and um, it almost feels like again there's something about like I want to hear your opinion what do you think about that but you have like I'm also hearing that you have like a very cheeky grin like men perceive you as like cheeky they perceive you as provocative they perceive you as edgy but again the men that like a challenge or the men that like a dominant person okay that are drawn to like a dominant energy they're really going to be like very very interested in you okay again even if you are a guy men perceive you as kind of like um i would say as you could possibly be a leader of like you could be the man oh yeah i'm hearing the man because now i'm being brought to 50 cent and i'm being brought to like i think he has like an album called the man so men see you as the man that could like start something or that the man that could like um start a revolution or the man that could start like um, something big but you um, prefer to do your own thing so men perceive you as somebody who could possibly be a leader um, or who could possibly like tell other people what to do because you there's some type of like strength and some type of like dominance you know like submissive people or shy people people wouldn't choose the shy person to you know lead a crowd but if you are like dominant or if you're yeah i'm also hearing people perceive you as fearless this is what it is it feels like the people perceive you as somebody who's fearless you are not scared okay you're not scared to um, voice an opinion that is very controversial. You're not scared to um, dress um, in a way that is very controversial. Um, you are not scared to live a lifestyle that is very controversial. Okay, and when I say live a lifestyle that is controversial, this could also be like I'm not talking about like you being fully clothed in like gothic and stuff like that. It could be, but you rebelling against society is also choosing like a vegan or a vegetarian vegetarian diet because people have a lot of questions. Oh, do you get a lot of pro? Do you get enough protein? Da -da 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 -da, you know, like or somebody who's fasting and you say like oh i do a juice cleanse um every two months it's kind of like rebelling against what society tells us to do or that you are not afraid to like again talk to people or do something that a lot of people question okay something about men perceive you as somebody who is fearless but you also intimidate them or you spark some type of fear with them now the interesting thing is we also have the pluto card here and i'm not necessarily familiar with the pluto card which is interesting because i'm picking up the energy here that men perceive you as if you introduce them to something that they are not familiar with which they find very intriguing it's kind of like for some of you guys you could be somebody who openly talks about spirituality who openly talks about like mediumship like because for me for example most of the time i don't make my spirituality the topic if that makes sense because I know that there's a lot of people that have like a controversial opinion about you know what I'm doing and how I'm living and stuff like that and I probably have to work on it <laughs> so I would have to learn from you to be honest with you guys but I'm picking up the energy like you're not you're not afraid like if somebody asks you straightforward to 
just say things out loud that maybe are taboo or maybe that are again like frowned upon like oh you know like i believe in angels and you know like if you say you believe in angels it's very controversial like not everybody's gonna understand where you come from but you say it with so much confidence and you say it with so much like yeah you say it with so much confidence that people are interested in they want to know more like why you are so can i'm also hearing they want to know why you are so convinced of yourself or why you are so convinced of like a specific topic and then when you introduce them okay because i'm also picking up there's like people like that you sometimes attract men that want to challenge you because for example they don't believe in like um eating plant-based just for an example okay or they don't believe in like dark magic or they don't they don't believe in magic or they don't believe in spirituality but they find you so fascinating that they want to get they want to know more why about why you are so convinced or where your opinion comes from and then they feel like you introduce them into like a completely different world or you introduce them to certain things that they have never thought about but then they realize at some point that you were right with what you said so a lot of men also view as like a smart ass or that even if they like i'm also hearing you you are like you say something and maybe these people don't agree with you or these men don't agree with you but at the end of the day you kind of like prove them wrong or um you kind of show them that you have a point in what you said or that there's truth behind what you said even though they were trying to challenge you to show you that you were in the wrong i don't know how to explain it okay so you also i'm picking up the energy that you are like a very edgy provocative or you have like a an energy where you express your dark feminine or your dark masculine side meaning that you are okay with being a misfit or something along those lines and again there's certain people that really like that about you and they want to I'm, I'm hearing they want to join you or they want the same freedom as you because I'm picking up that men also view you as somebody who has you have so much freedom or you exude freedom because you don't give a fuck about what other people think of you and therefore they feel like if they are with you, they can also be who they are. Or um, when they are with you, they can talk about topics that are frowned upon or something like that. Or they can also be themselves or show parts of themselves that they usually hide because you have nothing to hide is what I'm picking up. Now, the funny thing is there's a contradiction. There's something about like you have a, your presence or your energy feels like to men it feels like you're not hiding anything again it could even be because you are like very revealing or you like to wear revealing clothes and stuff like that so you like to reveal a little bit here and there and you also like to again like reveal the bullshit or reveal like um the problem or reveal um the fault in something or you like to reveal i don't know like a misconception or something like that so you like to reveal things you like to bring up things but at the same time there's also like something very mysterious and hidden about you so they feel like you are somewhat of a paradox where they feel like i know pi number one but i also don't know pi number one or i know a lot about pi number one but i also don't know much about pi number one because if i could describe your energy i'm seeing like a lady she looks like a next door girl okay um she again it doesn't have to be that you wear all black but there could also be like just when you start speaking it's like very blunt okay and everybody's like oh did you just say that or there's something about your voice okay that men are very attracted to but i'm picking up the energy yeah it's definitely your voice i'm also hearing your voice sounds like a melody or something like that so for some of you guys you could also be like you have like a very melodic voice or people already told you that they like your voice but i'm picking up the energy here of like a next door girl um just to describe the energy a next door girl who wears like a white and pink excuse me or who looks like um who has like very earthy tones and she looks like she doesn't look basic but she looks like just a normal woman just a normal man okay but then when you look at when you walk into this person's apartment there's a completely different world like you see everything like i don't know she has like um her room is full of like angel sculptures or her room is full of like 
when you look at this lady she looks like she she's listening to taylor swift but then when you go into her room she's listening to to Park and biggie and like hard rock and stuff like that does that make sense there's something about like a contradiction when people get to know you you there's like something that is very very hidden again for others of you this could also be like that you have like a hidden talent that people don't know about and it's like oh i'm very surprised about your hidden talent here okay for some of you guys your hidden talent is connected to some type of like spirituality meaning like you are very good at yoga or you are like very good at meditating and i know it doesn't sound like a i'm also hearing yeah you have like interesting either hobbies or like a talent so for some of you guys i'm also picking up that men view you as somebody who has like very interesting hobbies and they want to know more about your hobby or something like that okay now the interesting thing is we have pluto here and again i'm not familiar with the planet pluto but when I was Google, when I was um, googling Pluto, it says Pluto is the great revealer. But often there is a dark night before the rebirth. Again, you have like some type of like dark energy to you. Again, even if you wear bright colors, you could maybe sometimes say things that seem very bland, or you could have like a dark humor, or um, you could view the world as like a. How can I say that? Like you're not pretending that everything is okay with the world. You actually talk about the darkness in the world, if that makes sense, okay? Um, but often there's a dark night before the rebirth. Pluto brings mind purging, exorcism and releasing buried power or core truths. This planet of creative destruction and transits can feel like an extended ordeals. Again, this is what I'm picking up. Men view you as somebody who shakes up their world or who actually destroys a certain belief system that they had because they i'm hearing like you 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 feel like there's something about how society molds us in into being certain people but you already broke i'm hearing you already escaped the matrix or you already escaped this energy of like you already saw how the world works and how they mold you into somebody or they how they want to mold you into somebody and then when men come in contact with you they feel like um their belief system is first of all challenged or you might even destroy certain things that they believed in but not for the sake of destruction but for the sake of truth like you are a truth seeker and this is what i was talking about they come to you with a certain belief system but then when they talk to you they they rethink what they actually believe in because you prove them wrong or and then they also see that you have no reason to lie to them or you have no hidden agenda and you're i'm also hearing for some of you guys it's just the way that you express your lifestyle and the way that you live um you know like for example you would bring up conspiracy theories and this person would be like no i don't believe that but then when they dive a little bit deeper into that it makes sense that there's like a whole thing going on you know like propaganda or something along those lines okay so there's something about like you challenge and almost like destroy how men think or certain belief systems i'm also picking up you are like you would be the type of person to you would be the type of person to trigger like an ego death in people meaning that when they come in contact with you they will see that you can be successful you can live without having such a big ego or that i don't know there's something about like you would trigger like a, an ego death or you would trigger somebody to rethink and have like a reality check like yeah men view you as somebody like who brings a reality check into their life some men are super duper grateful for that because they feel like um you made them see what was the problem in their life or what was like the fault or why they felt a certain way and then other men who are not yet ready to live the truth they want to continue to live their ugly lie they will feel triggered by you so you definitely trigger people by because you speak the truth is basically what i'm picking up here okay that you are a woman and man that speaks the truth and some people really love that about you because you say what they have been thinking or you say you address the elephant in the room and they really feel relieved and re yeah they feel relieved because you speak what they have been thinking and then there's other men that feel triggered by it because they have been like they're not ready to change their mind or they're not ready to 
listen to somebody else or they're not ready to get inspired by somebody else because there's so much in their ego that they feel like they're the only person who has the answers or something about like yeah this is what i'm picking up here okay that was long <laughs> okay i also feel like men have a lot to say about you again there's some men that speak very positively about you that you somehow were the catalyst for them realizing something or that you were the reason why they realized that they have more power you might be somebody who talks about manipulation inspiration um, you might be talking about how certain things influences or you might be talking about like manifestation or that there is a lot that is not talked about in the media or again like you you open up like a i'm hearing you actually trigger people to be just as powerful as you if if they let you do it okay so some you empower you really empower some men because you i'm hearing you how do you say that you help them to um you help them to get out of some type of mental slavery and then there's other men that feel triggered by your power that feel triggered by you speaking the ugly truth and then they would back off from you because they want to live their pretty lie or they want to continue to believe what they believe even though they know that what they believe in is maybe like a lie i don't know how to explain it okay yeah it says it's the planet of creative destruction so you could also be doing something creatively that really makes people think maybe with your art that maybe some of you guys i'm also picking up like if you create something um there's a lot of men that actually and that actually feel like what you create or what you say feels like an answer to a question that they had in mind so you're also like somebody who has like a lot of answers or almost like all-knowing or like a smart ass okay <laughs> okay now let's look at how women view you okay give me a moment here <clears throat> i did not know that this is going to be a long reading but it is here we go <laughs> okay let me see how women view you women view you as a teacher or as somebody who is very disciplined or that you have again with you it's the same with the women it's the same energy but it's perceived a little bit differently with the women the way women view you is the women that you come in contact with they view you as somebody again but it's the same thing as with men like you bring some type of like shock there's like a shock factor about you and um, there could be a shock factor about again the way that you dress or the way that you speak or what you're interested in your hobbies and stuff like that okay or your opinion your opinion could be very controversial so the way women view you is the same they feel like you you're somehow kind of like a shock or that you have a shock factor i'm also hearing a wow factor because they perceive you as somebody who let me see they perceive you as somebody who always has a helping hand for them or that you are i'm hearing you are very polite like women view you as somebody who's very polite or as somebody who is very caring but again there's something women view you the same way that there's something very intense about you but i'm not um women view you as something like they they see you and they feel like there's something very intense about you or that you stir up very intense emotions within them may that be a strong admiration or that you stir up like a strong love in them like platonic or romantic there's something about you stir up strong emotions in women or women view you as somebody who has like very very strong emotions there could also be an energy where some women view you as yeah i'm hearing some women view you as very like emotional but not emotional in a way or that you are somebody that ex you express your emotions very openly and there's a lot of women that are very very attracted to you opening up about like hidden things like i'm hearing that you are somebody you when you want to cry you cry or when you are angry you are angry and you express like i'm hearing you express everything but it's not like you're not expressing yourself in a chaotic way it's still very grounded or it's still very like um i'm hearing you're not losing your mind or you're not losing control but um that's interesting 
because I feel this energy here that men view you as somebody who has like a lot of control or that you have a lot of self-control okay or that you could possibly also have like a lot of control over them because you have like a very dominant energy okay but women view you as somebody who you have control over your own emotions or um you don't let the world um you know like something about like they perceive you as somebody like nobody can like rush you you would be the type of person if somebody is like um bumping into you you're not gonna scream you would tell them you know you will put them in their place but you're not gonna scream and completely lose it does that make sense so there's something about like yeah there's some type of grace about you the way that you express your emotions or there's something about like you are nobody can rush you or there could be an energy where you um there's something about you it's also a contradiction here as well because i'm picking up here you have a way of like living a slow life or doing things slowly or being very very patient okay they could also be perceiving you as somebody who's very patient with them who's very compassionate okay and um, but at the same time there's also something like let's see where the tower is here because i cannot put my finger on it i feel like you um you trigger deep emotions in women let me see where's the tower here what's going on the queen of swords yeah there's sometimes women are sometimes shocked about what you say okay um i'm actually being brought to list the wizard or wizard the list list the wizard where she sometimes says things that can be very very triggering depending on with which ear you hear her because she actually only wants your best i'm not watching her but I think I understand where she comes from with her videos and with the Queen of Swords I'm picking up the energy here that women view you as somebody you sometimes say things that can be very hurtful but you're not saying them to hurt people you're saying them to wake them up okay women view you as like a wake-up call or that you wake them up or that you are very honest about like life can be beautiful but don't lose yourself in illusions or you'll be the type of um, person to I don't know say it how it is or um to even say things again that could possibly hurt but they know that you're not doing it to hurt them you're doing that because you love them but the way you sometimes say things is maybe like a little bit harsh okay women also view you as like very intelligent and almost intelligent to the point where it blows their mind okay so their your intelligence somehow blows people's mind and again there's something about your hands um for some of you guys women view that women view you as somebody who has like beautiful hands or they're very attracted to your hands or something about your hands in both cards in all these cards i see something with your hands so um in in general women and men view you as somebody who's like very talented or you do something with your hands or you seem to be a person that is very busy here but women definitely view you as like a teacher or as somebody who has really good advice and that if they really want to change something in their life i also feel like you are like a role model for a lot of women or a lot of women view you as somebody who you somehow made it now i'm not saying that you are a millionaire but maybe you know how to gracefully overcome a heartbreak or you gracefully know how to attract men or attract women or you're really good at dating there's something that you are really good at you're really good at seducing you're really good at dating you're really good at healing um you're really good at keeping your body in shape there's something that you are really good at and women feel like if they want to be on the same level as you and um, they want to listen to you again there's like two sides some women feel like um if they want to achieve something that you have achieved because they do admire you for something okay they should take your helping hand and follow your guidance i'm also hearing follow my lead follow your guidance and then there's other women that feel like um they feel like you're cocky or you're stuck up or that you think you're better than them okay and the fathers of you other women see you as somebody who shows them the way or shows them um how to level up or how to do better let's see let's get one more card here how do women view you how do women view pie number one how do women view pie number one seven yeah you call out the bullshit 
oh my god you wow you're all about self-improvement pie number one women see you as somebody who's all about self-improvement you're not the type of person to stay in the victim mentality women really view you as somebody if you really want to level up in life if you really want to again this could be like something specific that you do or that you overall have your life together or there's like something or that you are somebody that you always find a way to gracefully handle like a very challenging situation okay there's something about you're good at overcoming challenges or um, you overcame a lot of challenges in your life and you kind of have your life together okay I'm also picking up if you are in a relationship or in a marriage women want to know how you manifested your partner or how you manifested your relationship or there's something about like they want to know how you seduce men or how you seduce women or whatever okay there's something about like a lot of women see you as somebody you can teach them something or they want to learn something from you and then there's other women okay that feel like you are cocky or you act as though you know it all or you act as though um you have all the answers but you don't okay you're also just a regular schmegular person like them so there's something like again you trigger strong emotions in people and um, for some of you guys you trigger jealousy um in women excuse me you uh, trigger jealousy in women because they feel like again you act as though you are better or um, as though your life is perfect and stuff like that which is not the case but you're all about self-improvement you're also about like learning hard lessons and you are okay with some even like that somebody tells you hey this needs to change like i'm also getting an energy of like tough love is what i'm picking up here and some people really appreciate that about you and other people feel triggered by it again some women are a little bit jealous of you okay because they feel like you always have an answer or you always know the way out or you um you always say the right thing which I, I, there's nothing wrong with it right but they feel like let me see how do women view you one more card here i just feel like overall yeah that you guide the way overall women feel like if they follow your lead they will somehow achieve something similar to what they admire about you okay or that there's something that they really admire about you and they want to learn about about it or they want to learn something from you here okay and women perceive you as somebody who's very wise okay and if women really get to know you they see that you are very down to earth okay that all your wisdom comes from you being in a very like difficult situation and one day you told yourself i'm not going to stay in this um, victim mentality i'm not going to stay in the shitty ass situation i'm going to really put in the work put in the discipline because a lot of women also see you as somebody who is very disciplined hard working and that, that this is where your strong emotions come from um, women could also view you as somebody who, who speaks with a lot of passionate or strong emotions or you could be somebody who cries a lot when you're speaking or you are very angry when you're speaking but it's not anger it's like passion behind your words like stop that you know like you know just forget him and then like some women would be like well it's not that easy you know like um kind of like how do you say that they want to push against you and then other women would be like wow how can i how can i be as strong as you or how can i have like confidence as strong as your confidence there's something about like women really admire you because you seem to be somebody who you learned something and what you've learned really brought you in a position where you mastered something okay this could be even the art of seduction or that you mastered public speaking or that you mastered confidence or that you mastered i don't know or that you successfully manifested like your partner okay you definitely stir strong emotions in women and some women really like to be around you because they feel like every time they are with you there's an energy of like self-improvement there's an energy of going to the next level there's an energy of like achieving and learning okay and finding your way through this confusing world and then there's other women that see you as a know-it-all and they don't like that okay so i don't know <laughs> Some people want to follow you because they can see that what you're like they can see like you're like your 
life speaks for itself or what you achieved or what you manifest speaks for itself so there's some women that feel like man let me just listen to pile number one and see what she has to say okay or what he has to say um how can i improve my life or how can i achieve something similar and then there's other people that again feel triggered by you and they don't want to take your advice they feel like i can do this on my own you're not all knowing or whatever whatever <laughs> Look at that, to close your reading, look at that, the stairs. Some people feel like you really elevate them to the next level with what you say, with your lifestyle. You elevate them. And then other people are like, I don't want to elevate, I want to stay here. Let me be. <laughs> okay, I'm beautiful pie number one, that's all I had for you guys. Let me know down in the comments if it resonates with you. I love you guys. I'm going to see my next one and I wish you a lovely day. Bye. Hello, my beautiful pie number two. How are you guys doing so you chose this beautiful image here the first thing that i pick up here is that men because i'm we're going to start with men okay and this comes through like very fast so i have to say it i feel like you sometimes confuse the men around you we're going to talk about it but i felt like i was like a little bit like confused you know when i was showing you the image or like something about like um oh okay that's interesting i'm hearing that you stay that you somehow live in man's head rent free is what i'm hearing okay so there's something about like unforgettable about what you say the interactions that men have with you but again we're gonna tap into that in a second um hello <laughs> okay so pan number two we're gonna channel the energy first and then we're gonna look at the cards together and i'm gonna start with how men view you and then how women view you okay so give me a moment I'm hearing who do you call when you want to make it to the top okay I'm also hearing hotline bling oh there's going there's a mixed energy here going on mm. that's interesting for some odd reason I feel this energy that um, when it comes to men men view you as somebody who relaxes them but at the same time you make them excited there is a very yeah there's a very interesting energy of you have an energy to you that feels very calming so i'm picking up the energy that like some men maybe really like to talk to you on the phone or um there's an energy where you are in general somebody who likes to talk on the phone okay or for some of you guys you could work in a call center just for somebody out here but i feel like the energy that you are men perceive you as somebody who kind of like calms them down or they like to listen to you when you speak because you calm them down so you could be somebody who speaks very slowly or that you are like you have like a very soft nature to you okay oh, there's, but again i feel like it's like a combination of like you calm me down or i feel relaxed and calm in your presence but at the same time there's like this exciting feeling that you give me okay i'm picking up the energy that men view you as somebody who i feel like men view you as a trickster and when i say that i mean oh that's what it is that's what it is Men view you as somebody who is very charming, okay, but this charm that you have could also very easily turn into trickster energy. So men are very suspicious with you, like even when we talk about like other guys, other guys could see you, like if you are a guy watching, other guys feel like you have, yeah, you have like a charm to you that draws in, okay, whatever you like if you like women you you have a way of drawing in women or seducing women or if you are a guy and you are into guys that you have a way of like charming or seducing the opposite sex or whatever you like okay and you and then there's the the other guys or the other men around you feel like what is it that you always attract these beautiful women or that you always attract like let's say for example you always attract a stalker or you always attract somebody who's obsessed with you or you always attract like um 
people to you like you have such a charm to you or there's something very charming about you but again it could also depending on how people view you could also look at like as a trickster okay um women um excuse me men could view you as somebody who could possibly hurt them okay hurting meaning like um you would be the type of person to fall in love or like they fall in love with you and then you leave them so i don't know what it is but it almost feels like um there is something about you that men feel like um or that you are again the type of person you draw in like or you have such a strong magnetism that people are like so drawn to you and they're wondering like why do you always attract people falling in love with you or why do you always attract these things it doesn't even have to be that you attract um like love or romantic energy to you this could, this could also be that you always attract like very interesting people into your life or that you are overall somebody that you attract very interesting things in in your life like you always have very weird experiences or like you have stories to tell and people are like man why is this always happening to you for others of you men perceive you as somebody who is again like there's something about charm or there's something about like um when they have an interaction with you they're kind of suspicious of you or they view you as again as somebody you can lure them in or you can charm them but as much as you can charm them and lure them in okay you can also kind of like hurt them or um they don't want to get tricked by your charm they don't want to get tricked by your sweetness or they don't want to get tricked there's something going on here let me get a few more cards okay let me show you we have the Night of, yeah, I'm also hearing that you have the pants on. There's something about, um, again, this could either be, like, if you are a woman watching, thinking about, like, how men view you, then it would apply to, like, they're, they're wondering why they feel so drawn to you or what, why, like, why can they not stop thinking about you? Why can they not stop, like, um feeling what they feel for you like they feel like i'm hearing that you um put a love spell on them yeah this is what i'm hearing like that you put a love spell on them like they're not thinking that but it, that's what it feels like okay they feel like there's something like very like magnetic about you and they're trying to figure out why they feel the way that they feel for you again they feel like um you could be possibly like manipulating them or you could be a trickster okay or um they have to be careful with you there's something about I have to be careful with pile number two because just as much as this feels good, this can also become like very painful, this whole situation here. Okay. Now, if you are a guy watching, thinking about like other dudes, like your friends or like other men, um, other men feel like you, again, you have something very charming that convinces other people or that you have a way of convincing other people of you. Okay. Now, for others of you, I'm also picking up men view you as depending on how much they know you, okay? Because I could be talking about like people only knowing you as an acquaintance or people like people that you used to date, okay? So just filter it out. I'm also picking up there's men that think that you um, are good at manifesting or let me see what that is about. There's something about preparation, experimenting, analyzing and manifesting interesting so they men view you as somebody who is very strategic and analytical okay again strategic and analytical to the point where you could possibly like if i could describe your energy i would describe your energy as um i know in business school you learn about like what kind of colors you use because in psychology different colors trigger different emotions or people associate blue with like um loyal and red with like something else and then green with something else there's something about like i'm also hearing something about psychology or something about like i'm hearing you know how something works or you could also be somebody they perceive you as somebody who experiments a lot okay somebody who's um who's experimenting a lot or there could also be an energy where they feel like I don't even know how to describe that energy um men could also feel like they want to experiment something with you or yeah they view you as somebody who experiments you could be experimenting with your looks with your hair 
with certain lifestyles. You could be somebody who tries a lot of things, okay? So they cannot pinpoint you because you always try new and different things. So who are you really? Yeah, I'm also hearing who are you really? Let me see, that's interesting. I feel like men view you as somebody that you people easily fall in love with you or that they could easily fall in love with you because you have such a caring i'm hearing you have like a caring energy to you or you have something about you that feels very you have like a very lovely energy okay um there might even i'm also hearing there might even be men that are actually straight but when they are with you they feel there's like a I'm hearing bi curious, okay? Some men feel like you make them bi curious, okay? Not for everybody. You could also be somebody like if you are like straight that you attract a lot of gay men um, because you have something that really attracts the same sex about you. Like I'm also hearing men view you as somebody who is very feminine but also very masculine. Like you have this perfect balance of like feminine and masculine here. Let me see. Okay, let me see. How do men view pen number two? What's going on? They definitely want to figure you out. Yeah, we have the sun card here. Men view you as somebody who... <laughs> I'm hearing men view you as somebody who's like... That's so interesting. It's a very contradicting energy that I pick up here because I pick up dark and lightness, okay? But I pick up that you express both, okay? So I'm picking up the energy with the sun card. There's something about you create your own happiness or people feel like um, you are somebody that you manifested something in your life and they, they want to know how you did it or... Um, I also feel like some men feel like or think that you do witchcraft or maybe you do or there's something about like men view you as somebody who is good at manifesting or is, is good at convincing people, is good at charming people, is good at possibly even tricking people, okay? Um, or winning, like you're, you're good at winning people's heart or winning people's like approval, okay? But they could also feel like, um, or they could also see you as somebody who created their own happiness. That you're somebody that you don't need another person to be happy or that you are just, you have like a very happy, jolly energy to you, okay? But then you also have like a very, you have like a very, see, yeah, I'm hearing you have like a very serious side to you, okay? I'm hearing I mean business, okay or you could be somebody who yeah i'm also hearing stop and stare so if there's men looking at you stop when they stop and stare um i'm picking up the energy that they there's something about i have to stop and stare at pile number two i'm hearing that men view you as somebody who's always learning or always studying something okay and that you have like again you have a way of winning people's heart or convincing people or they feel like um, you are like a really good manifester or you know how to manifest things in your life again I'm, i keep hearing like who do i call to get to the top let me see so there's men that want to call you for advice i feel like they want to call you for advice trying to figure out like how they are so there's something about like um you attracting other people or you convincing other people so the way men view you is like what it what a, what an effect you have on other people okay what what that, that you have like a very intense effect on other people like people notice like a pattern or men notice a pattern or men notice that um that they feel sexually and emotionally way more drawn to you than that they than they than they have ever experienced you see it's kind of like an experiment where they don't know why they feel so drawn to you but they notice that it is different compared to you know like other connections that they had let me see uh, let me maybe get one of these give me a, a second guys what's going on here how men view you because I feel like there's something that I did not touch oh there could also be an energy where men view you as somebody who's untouchable or that you tease them but in the end you don't I don't know you could be also ghosting men a lot or 
and there's something about like they want to touch you but they can't or um, something about um, let me see how do men view pile number two let's see ten of swords mm. I keep feeling with the ten of swords this feels like, yeah, there's something about men view you as somebody who is more focused on manifesting your dream life, manifesting your future and stuff like that, and that you don't really have time for them is what I'm picking up here, okay? But they could also, yeah, they could also be like, you not paying attention to them. Yeah, okay, guys, listen, because <laughs> I'm trying to gather my words. I'm picking up the energy here that there's a lot of women out there or even a lot of men that are all about finding love and that's all they care about, okay? And there's nothing wrong with it, but if that's the only thing that you care about, then there is a problem. So men view you as like, a, let's say for example, you are a woman watching. Men view you as somebody like they, they met a lot of women that were all about I don't know like convincing them and seducing them and looking good and giving them good sex and stuff like that and um they felt like the women were all over them but then when they meet you they feel like you have like a very charming lovely energy to you but from a distance okay there's something yeah you i'm hearing you seduce people without touching them um other women before you had to touch them to seduce them or had to do something like i don't know they had to do like a backflip or a split or something like that to seduce them but you do it in a way where you just look at them or just you just interact with them but you don't let them touch you or you could be somebody who who walks around very modest but i'm hearing your sexiness like um your sexiness is in your modesty or your sexiness is in your um, in you being um, covered or your sexiness is in that you that your focus is on something else like I want to make a lot of money or um, I want to do something with my life or I'm very invested in helping squirrels and helping bees and this is like your passion so you're not 100% focused on dating but that's what they find so like that what that's what they find so seducing about you is that you don't try to seduce them it's your nature there's something about but again they feel like they feel tricked because they there's something about you seduce them without touching them okay if you are a lady now if you are a guy men feel like you have a way of seducing women or you have a way of like seducing men or calling in I'm also hearing like calling in a soulmate or you could be somebody that you easily find like a partner or that you easily find dates or something like that okay let me see what the heck is going on here i'm also picking up an energy of like cutting you off so a lot of men feel like first you seduce them or first you made them fall in love and then you cut them off okay but this could just be their perception or you, you you meet with a with a guy once and it, you're just friendly and kind to them and they feel like they have a chance with you but then you just cut them off or then you're nowhere to be found this is why i also picked up like that you are unforgettable okay there's something going on here let me see how do men view pie number two yeah they view you as somebody like they, you confuse men okay you confuse men again you can either you either confuse men um they're asking themselves why they don't convince other people as much as you do okay or they could be yeah they feel like again that's what i'm picking up like the game master you see it says the game master that you are like very strategic or that you know how to get what you want and they feel like maybe you're using your charm to get what you want or there's something about you know how to get what you want in life in general okay and they feel like a little bit intimidated about it because what if you use the tricks that you use for other stuff let's say what why what if you use the tricks that you use for business you use on them i don't know how to explain it so you definitely confuse men okay men feel very very confused by you because you there's something magnetic about you now if i could reveal the whole thingy majigger here is that you're just really good at manifesting okay 
or that your confidence comes from manifesting or your confidence comes from that you created your own happiness you could also be like a person who's like men also view you as somebody who's very happy or you have like a very happy jolly energy to you okay and they want to know why you are so happy or what makes you so happy or why are you so happy in such a weird dark confusing world okay what makes you so happy there's something about men also perceive you as somebody who's like very happy and they want to be around you because you make them happy or when you are this happy and jolly and you're playing and making jokes and stuff like that i think that's when men fall in love with you um they feel like man life can be so beautiful when i'm with pie number two but it's because you knew or you mastered to create your own happiness okay because i'm seeing like a jar and it says where do you have that from and then the jar and then the mannequin or this little thingy majigger this mannequin says i created this my own and it says happiness okay let's see how women view you but i definitely want to say that men underestimate you they just feel like you're just charming or um you're just good at like convincing people or that you are some men actually think that you didn't have like a that you had like a really good childhood or you don't know about a rough life and that's for most of you it's not the case i just feel like that you learn so much in life that you understood that if i wait for things to be happy i will never be happy and then you some that you somehow found like i'm hearing that you somehow found a source of happiness that makes you walk around with a smile and stuff like that okay um now and i feel like they're kind of like i feel like a lot of men underestimate you they think you're just kind and you're just polite and you just smile a lot but you're also like very strategic or you are really good at um, getting what you want but women women see that you are extremely intelligent so men feel like this is just like i don't know how can i say that they feel like you now the interesting thing is like i, I don't know i feel like men view you as like small i'm hearing small but mighty you could be like a of small height or you could be very young okay so men also view you as somebody who's very young but you already hmm how can i say that you already manifested quite some things in your life or you are very young but you yeah so men could also be like very attracted even if you are not young men think you are very young or you have like a baby face or you are you look very young or you have like a very young nature or you could be wearing stuff that young people wear or you could be doing things that young people wear so even if you are older okay pe when people are around you they feel young because you are like you have yeah i'm hearing like you have a, there's something you have a youthful nature to you you're very youthful like a youth I'm hearing the youth, the fountain of youth. Okay, so you could be looking very young um, or you could be really looking good for your age or they could be thinking that you are younger than you actually are. Or again, there's something about you have like a very youthful nature that you um, are very playful and that you play around, okay? But again, I feel like men definitely underestimate you, okay? They underestimate you or they don't want to give you your flowers or they... I don't want to give you your credit there's also some men that are like jealous of you because they feel like you're smarter than them even in business or at work yeah i feel like there's some men at work that feel like you are very smart like that you are smarter than them although you have been in the company like um for a smaller amount of time or that you are smarter than them although you are younger and it kind of triggers some type of jealousy in them that you with your young age that or even like you with your little experience that you already like outshine them okay some men feel like you outshine them okay with your skills is what i'm hearing um and like some men really like that about you and they want to i'm hearing they observe you to learn they're not gonna come to you and ask you hey how do you do that they like to observe you as you're doing something or they like to observe you at work um or they, I'm also hearing men want to figure out like, yeah, there's something about men want to figure out why everybody likes you or why you are so liked or um, why you are so skillful or why people are more drawn to you than to them. I don't know how to explain, but they like to observe. So there's a lot of men that like to observe. They don't say, 
hey, I have been wondering why you are so charming or I have been seeing that you get a lot of like attention or a lot of like, how do, how do, I, how do I say that? That you, that there's a lot going on in your life that is really good, okay? They're not realizing that you are in the process of becoming a master manifester, which is the reason why you manifest more than other people. Okay, so in essence, you are a master manifester. Men want to know why everything is going so great for you. But the reason is you are a master manifester or um, that you are in the process of becoming a master manifester. And there's like little evidences for you being like very powerful in calling stuff to you or making things work for you or that you know what to do, like that you know your power or your charm or that you know your own superpower, okay, to get what you want. Now, men could also view you as somebody who's like snooping around or that you have like a very strong intuition or that you know things like, there's something about men feel like they cannot hide anything from you. You could also be somebody who is into tarot, into spirituality. You could also be somebody who's like into mind reading or like trying to read a person's mind or you've already heard it a lot of times that people say you read their mind or something like that. But some men could also perceive you as like nosy um, or somebody who you cannot hide anything from pile number one because she's gonna find out anyway. Or you could be somebody who has like very intense dreams and you see stuff in your dreams and what you see in your dreams is very accurate so it kind of freaks them out. Some men are very, very they really find that cool about you, okay, in case you are a guy thinking about other guys, how they see you. And like, um, if you are a woman, a lot of men think that it is very like sexy. They like that mysterious um, vibe. They like the spiritual woo-woo vibe about you, okay. And then there's other men that feel intimidated by it. They think maybe you are a witch or um, they cannot trust you or they cannot lie to you. So they can do, they cannot do their shenanigans because you're going to find out because you always have these dreams. You always, um, there's something about to row or um, you always find out something here. Okay. Now women see you for, I'm hearing women see you for who you truly are. Okay. So women know like, oh, pie number two is... Wow. Now, give me a moment here. Okay, so women, the way women view you, we have the two of wands here. Okay. We have the world card here. Women view you as the complete package. Women view you as, wow, I'm hearing, there's a lot of women that think you have everything that they want or that you, there's something about that you are a beauty from head to toe or the complete package or there's something about you have everything so I don't know even if women don't like I'm, I'm also picking up this energy of like this is this is about women that don't know you women that don't know you feel like you have everything like they immediately think I don't know how to explain it I almost want to say women view you as somebody who doesn't have to worry about money you don't yeah there's something yeah you have that you have a lot when it comes to like materialistic things like when women view you but i feel like it's women that don't know you and um, women that don't know you view you as a person who is very successful or very popular or that you probably have a lot of men women in your dms with the six of wands okay or that you could possibly then I also feel like there's some women that look at you and feel like oh you probably have like a lot of followers or um, that you probably do something in the entertainment industry or there's something about like um, women view you as somehow like popular or successful and even if you are not yet women feel like you have everything it takes to become successful okay or that they can already foresee your success. So I don't know what exactly this is about, but women definitely feel like men, I feel like men are very confused. Again, men are very confused and they wanna know what it is about you. But women know that the reason that, The reason that you're successful comes actually from your intelligence. So men see you, this is so interesting, men see you as like, again, they underestimate your intelligence, 
but I feel like it comes sometimes from a salty place like they know that you are intelligent but they don't want to admit it I don't know why or that you are more talented or more skillful than men view that you're just manipulating to get what you want but this is you you're actually talented or you're actually good at manifesting or you're actually you do something genuinely from your heart and that is the reason why people flock to you okay and again and then there's other men that feel like you could be you could really make them happy okay there's something about men there's also men that feel like you could really make them happy they see you as a housewife is also what i'm picking up here or they see you as like you would be like a great wife or like a great girlfriend or um but again like they underestimate you because there's more to you than just like um a great girlfriend here okay not that every man sees you like that but i feel like these are men that don't want to they, they're not thinking bigger now men that do think bigger okay that want to achieve more in life they see you as competition now hear me out for some it's unhealthy competition because they get salty and then other men are so they find it so sexy because you um they feel like you your skill set or that you are so skilled in something or that you are it actually like you inspire men to do better or you inspire men like me men see you as healthy competition like oh look at pile number two that sexy lady you know um she is like very talented and um in order to woo her i want to show her that i'm just as talented there's like i'm also hearing there's something about like you trigger healthy competition in some men and very unhealthy competition in other men so some men are really like attract they find it so freaking sexy that you are the strategic and analytical okay or that you use what god gave you to get what you want okay they really like that and others feel like you're just manipulating okay let's go back to the women so i feel like with the women there's something about you you are the complete package or they i'm hearing they thought they're foretelling your future or i'm also hearing that if you made a decision that you wanted to do something okay that you would be very successful with it so for some of you guys you're still on the crossroads where you're thinking to yourself what you want to do with your life but i'm hearing regardless women feel like you will be successful or you already are successful or there's a lot of women that see like a huge potential okay that could also be like if you have like an idea or like a business there's something about women feel like with your intelligence you cannot fail or you cannot be successful there's something about you're so intelligent that they cannot see you not winning in the future. I don't know how to explain it. It's interesting because I do men and women and I've noticed that when I talk about how men view you, it's like very hard for me to articulate myself and we know that men are not, like women can talk better like about emotions and stuff like that, I think, <laughs> than men. And when I talk about like, or when I go to the women's side, it's very clear and very like straightforward. <laughs> Let me see. How do women view you? Let's see. I'm hearing there's no way pie number two cannot win with their intelligence. This is what I'm hearing. Okay. They could also be... Ooh, look at that. The Ace of Wands. Okay. Women also see you as like super duper talented. I'm also hearing that you are a fast learner or... Um, yeah, I'm also hearing... Um, why the fuck do I hear that? I'm hearing like you could compete with the big dogs or you're one of the big dogs or you want you're, you could become one of the big people or you could become like the head of a company, you could become the manager, you, you could become the team leader because you naturally have like this leading energy or you have so much wisdom that it only makes sense to choose you as like the manager or the leader or... Um, to listen to you here okay women see you as like very inspirational let me see how do women view pie number two what's going on okay yeah i'm also hearing if there was like a horse how do you say that if there was like a horse race women would bet on you that you will win they're very convinced i don't know but they could also be we talked about it that you are very convincing there's something about you that is very convincing here but women see you that you are convincing people because you're actually very intelligent and you know what you're talking about or that you 
that you have like a presence to you that really is i'm also hearing very relatable okay but men feel like it's you, you you use your looks to get what you want and not your intelligence i don't know how to explain it but again it's not all men but men that are more on the saltier spectrum if you know what i mean let me see how do women view pie number two what's going on the high priestess wow let me tell you women feel like you don't see your own potential that you see yourself smaller than you are or that you have way more potential or that you could use like maybe let's say your beauty your intelligence um, your internet presence um even like that for example let's say you're, you're making jewelry that your jewelry looks like i don't know i feel like women when women look at what you do or how you look they feel like you could easily like become something big or what you're doing could easily become look at that what you do could easily become something big if you would only see yourself as like a big person so a lot of women feel like you're too humble like you're too humble for what you actually accomplish or for how intelligent you are okay let's see how do women view pie number two what's going on here yeah that you have a lot of power and you're not using all of your power there's something about like you're going to make it in the world or there's something about you like god gifted you with something that women feel like you should use or that you are using or that you can use i'm also yeah women also want to work with you women feel like if they are working with you they're going to be on the winning team or they're going to win or something like that okay let me see how do women view pen number two what the heck is going on here the temperance yeah let me see give me a moment here art if you're creating art women feel like whatever you are creating is freaking powerful and it's kind of like i'm hearing but it's interesting because you have like a lot of women that root for you or that see your potential okay i'm seeing like some women that are again we're going to talk about them okay because jealousy is a thing but i feel like a lot of women like root for you or a lot of women feel like if you decided that you wanted to make something big out of whatever you're thinking about okay you could easily achieve it or if you have like a business idea or if you talked about a business idea women feel like you're gonna succeed so if you talked about you wanting to do something in the future, women feel like you're going to be a winner, you're going to succeed. There's no question about it, okay? And men, if you told men about your ideas and stuff like that, men also know that you're going to succeed. But um, they, I'm hearing they don't want to give you your credit or they don't want to give you too much credit because they feel like if they give you like that you get too cocky or yeah i'm also hearing that men feel like you get enough compliments so they don't want to give you this compliment because I, I don't know i pick up like a weird energy here and then there's other men that feel like again they just want to be on the ride with you or they just want to experience life with you because you're such a breath of fresh air okay or they really like that you make them feel different or that you talk about different things or there's something about other men just feel like they want to experiment with you or they want to support you in what you do okay especially if it's something like extraordinary or something that is not common okay again women feel like you are very very powerful and that if you decided to use your power more let's say for example that you could easily use your beauty to do something or that um if you wanted to you could make like a luxury a luxury business out of the items that you create or that you could i'm also hearing that you maybe could take more money for what you do or that you are how do you say that that you are overqualified for your job or that you are overqualified for like a position that you are in okay yeah i'm hearing like a lot of people i feel like i keep picking up this energy of a, of a success story here with you guys i don't know why i pick up an energy of a success story here okay like men and women feel like you're gonna be a success story is what i'm picking up okay you could be you could be just starting out okay and for others of you again women also feel like you are you get a lot of attention here 
okay you get a lot of attention or what you have to say again is very intelligent here so you inspire people with, somehow with like your let me see because i'm picking up that you do things in a different way that you like let's say for example people cook something and they cook it in a specific order you cook it in a different order which also makes the recipe different or the taste different from the dish and they're like oh that's interesting i've never seen people do it like that you know let me see how do women view pen number two what's going on here the knight of wands yeah they feel like you are a very very how can i say that women view you as like a very unique person and then you could and that you could use your uniqueness to really succeed or again that you already are very successful i'm also picking up again like something about like popular or something about like you get a lot of attention from the opposite sex from men from women because there's something very unique about you okay so overall people feel like you are very convincing or it's easy for you to win people's heart or that you're so intelligent and so strategic that there's no way in heaven that you're not gonna succeed with something here okay but you sometimes don't see your own greatness so women feel like that you sometimes don't see your own greatness or that you're not using what god gave you or that you should put that you should give yourself more credit for what you're doing here or i'm also hearing that if you had more confidence you could conquer the world this is what how women see you okay or that if you decided to become a big thing that you would make it okay but women also find it a little bit like charming that you are down to earth. So yeah, I'm also hearing like women also perceive you as somebody who's down to earth, although they have all the reasons to brag or all the reasons to, I don't know, think highly of themselves. Also hearing there's a lot of women that feel like you're just an angel and you deserve all the success in the world. Or um, there's also a lot of women that feel like you came into their life like an angel or you really helped them in a time where they really needed somebody here or that you were really really important i'm also hearing that you are going to be or that you are very very important in somebody's success story okay so for somebody in particular there's somebody here that thinks of you and feels like pie number two was the reason why i found success or this is something that you might be this might be some like a future energy i'm picking up like an author here who writes a book and then you inspire somebody and they become like huge and successful and then they mention you that you were the catalyst for some type of success or they learn so much from you okay okay my beautiful pie number oh let me see because i saw the seven of swords here why was the seven of swords here for the women yeah and other women feel like they don't know what to think of you and um, oh i'm hearing some women feel like are you just pretending that you're humble or are you really this down to earth like some women feel like you're just pretending to be down to earth because you you i keep hearing it because you want to win people for you or like you want to convince people like some people feel like you're you being down to earth is pretentious okay or that you um make yourself smaller than you are is pretentious but it's literally like you sometimes really don't see um your potential here and people are like she must know that she's beautiful like she's pretending and stuff like that do you know what i mean or he must know that you know um, a lot of women are into that into him and you really don't see it sometimes okay let me see yeah some people some women feel like that you there's also something about like playing what the fuck is that give me a moment here oh look at that we have the moon and the star some people also feel like that you were just blessed by god or that you were just blessed with something like let's say for example you were blessed with beauty and they feel like um again it's your beauty or it's what god gave you that is going to make you successful and they feel like it's not your own effort okay i don't know why they think that i mean salty <laughs> how do women view you let me get one last card and then i'm gonna head to pie number three how do women view you mm, again there's something about women feel like if they there is something going on with a success story i cannot shake this off with the four of pentacles there's something about 
if I invest into pay, like there's something about, you could be somebody who's very, ooh, I'm also hearing there's some women that feel like you invested your time wisely or that you are investing your time wisely or that you are very mature with your decisions and where you spend your time, which is the reason why you're gonna be successful or you already are successful. Some women feel like um, that, again, you were in it intelligent enough to focus on, I don't know, on your health instead of relationships and for that reason now you have the perfect body does that make sense that you somehow um distributed your time so wisely that now all your um all your labor is bearing fruits like the fruits of your labor are showing now or that you were like very wise in investing into certain things and um let me see there's something about and again there's also this energy like they would bet on you. So people would bet on you. Or women would bet on you that you will achieve something or that you will do something crazy. Like if there's one person in a, in your friend circle that would do something extraordinarily or that would be super duper successful, it would be you. Okay, is what I'm hearing. One last card here. Three of cups, yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful I, I get this beautiful oh my god i'm also picking up there's some women that get jealous of when other people come because i'm picking up yeah i feel like there's a lot of people that see your potential and i feel like there's people that genuinely want to be your friend and then there's other women that want to be your friend because they see your potential and then there's women that really just like you and feel like you deserve the whole world okay and they just like to be with you in your presence so you have to be a little bit aware of fake friends because there could be some friends that just feel like they just feed off of your positive energy or they just feed off of your intelligence or they just feed off of like knowing that you're going to be successful or something like that, okay? But I feel like there's a lot of there's a lot of women that feel like a friendship, wow, I'm hearing a friendship with you is a blessing or being in your presence is a blessing or I don't know, like hearing you, I'm also hearing like you are a good um, that you are a good storyteller or that people really like listening to you or they really I feel like a very lovely energy there's a lot of women that want to be your friend okay they want that want to befriend you some for the wrong reasons and others for the right reasons okay okay then overall even if you are a guy watching there's a lot of women that really like you even if they don't like you um romantically they would love to be friends with you so i wouldn't be surprised if you sometimes get friend zoned but listen to me if you are a guy who gets a, who gets friend zoned a lot there's gonna be the woman and the man okay there's gonna be a woman and a man or a man that will look for a best friend and then when they meet you, they will realize, wow, I found my best friend and now we can marry each other. So don't take the whole friend zone thing personal, okay? Because there's, for example, for me, I am looking or like I would rather, you know, marry my best friend, okay? Or I feel like marrying your best friend is the most beautiful thing. So I just wanted to let you guys know if you get friend zoned a lot and um, this is about people who are not necessarily looking to marry their best friend but once you find a person who is looking to marry their best friend you're gonna be the one that they want to marry if that makes sense okay something about like you have the potential to make it far in life or to take on a big position or to attract influential people or to do something extraordinary with your life there's something like people in general perceive you as like special or that you're gonna have a special life or that you were gifted with something special this could be psychic abilities this could be beauty this could be intelligence this could be that you learn languages very fast that you were somehow gifted and that when you use this gift <laughs> to the best of your abilities or to like the maximum you're gonna really live a good life in the future okay <clears throat> if you wanted to you could make something big out of it but i feel like you're still in the crossroads figuring out um how you really want your life to look like because i pick up for some of you guys this is not for everybody okay i'm picking up there's also the energy of like you could possibly you could possibly um really be in a high society group or 
do you know what I mean? Like, um, okay, I'm gonna give you one example, pie number two, okay? Um, I was um, outside and I was actually meeting a subscriber and I was so freaking like, um, if you are watching me right now, I'm sorry for being so awkward, but this doesn't happen very often. So I don't prepare myself for that situation. And I'm like, I can be very awkward, um, especially if I'm not mentally prepared for something. Anyway, it was nice to meet you in case you're watching. <laughs> Um, but on that day, I was, um, I had to pee in the coffee shop that I was at that didn't, they didn't have a toilet. So I was in a tricky situation where I had to find a toilet and then I found a toilet, but the toilet was broken. So I had to run somewhere. And then the man gave me a tip to go to a hotel and it's like a very extra, how do you say that? It's like a hotel for like rich people or like a hotel for like, um, uh, people that, you know, they're, they're living good and stuff like that. And I was asking them, hey, can I please use your toilet? Because I can't, like, I cannot find any toilet. And then when I went inside, it felt like a parallel universe because they were, like, playing, um... They were like playing classic music and everybody was oh, 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 with their glass and like you could you could tell that this is like a different universe if that makes sense like a high society universe or like a high society situation okay and then when you get out of the hotel um it's like a different world so i don't know people feel like you if you chose to make a decision you could kind of like enter a different world meaning like you could make a career transition and become really successful or you could transition or like you could like move elsewhere and become really successful there's something about if you wanted to you could make a decision that would somehow completely turn your life around or completely like change your environment or change your reality but it's upon you if you make that decision okay Something along those lines here, pile number two. I don't know what this is necessarily about, okay? But this could also be like something that they foresee in your future, that you are way too big for this position. You're way too big. Your potential is way too big for the company that you work at. So they already know that you're not going to stay there. There's something about people feel like you have... There's something where people feel like you have so much potential that you're almost misplaced where you are at okay or you could also be like in a transition energy here okay and like the 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 jealous people around you they they feel like you are um you're not as down to earth as you used to be but i don't know there's something there's we something weird going on i pick up an energy of like being down to earth but at the same time your energy is also very high to the point where when you have such a high energy your life is also going to be on a high level if that makes sense does that make sense? For some of you guys, I'm also picking up, there's a lot of women that feel like you really leveled up or that you really, that you're making the jump right now or that you're, I don't know, there's something going on here that you're becoming bigger, that you're becoming bigger. You're, let's say, for example, your confidence becomes stronger or you attract better men, you attract better women, you attract better jobs. Does that make sense? This is what I'm picking up here. Okay. Okay, my beautiful pile number two, I hope you guys like this reading, I hope this helped, okay, to give you some perspective about how other people view you. I love you guys, I'm going to see my next one and I wish you a lovely day, bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number three, last but not least, this is the image that you've chosen, there's a little story behind that image, so that image, oh, I, I, I was actually looking forward the most to your reading because um, I love this image, but I don't know why I love it. <laughs> That's the funny part because it's just a, you know, like a paintbrush or a little bit of paint on a wall. But there's something so, I don't know, I feel so attracted to that picture. That's actually one of my most favorite pictures in the, because I usually order like postcards that I'm going to use or that I'm using for you guys so you can choose an image. Your spirit guides are here. And, um, I was drawn to this one and there's nothing special about it but it's special to me i don't know how to explain it okay i feel like it's gonna tie into your reading we might you know um connect the dots as i'm channeling here okay so i'm gonna channel the energy first we're gonna look at how men view you first and then we're gonna look at how women view you okay okay pen number three <clears throat> i'm hearing it's I'm hearing we've only just begun or it's only just the beginning. 
so i'm picking up the energy here that i'm gonna get i'm gonna tap into like the overall energy because there's something coming through here give me a moment okay i'm picking up the energy here let's start with the men okay because i don't want to talk about the overall it's going to be like a super duper long reading let's talk about the men i pick up that man the way men view you oh and i'm going to show you the cards in a second i pick up that men view you as a boss okay they do men view you as um how can i explain that energy i feel like there's some men that are kind of speechless I'm picking up the energy that men view you like I'm hearing that men view you as if you are like on a high social status they might view you as somebody who's rich they might view you as somebody who um is married rich you don't have to be okay this is just how men perceive you okay or the way that you dress is very like I don't know like something about like you look rich you look wealthy you look like a boss you look like um you're married to a boss you look like you are surrounded by other bosses, okay? Um, or you could, yeah, because I talked about that in pie number two. So if you felt drawn to pie number two, I feel like there's maybe like a, um, um, a connection here, okay? Because I'm picking up like men also view you as maybe like somebody who's from like a high society, that you come from a good home, um, or there's something going on here with like, wealth and rich and um like a boss okay now the funny part is i'm also picking up the energy of rags to riches so i don't know what's going on with you guys but i'm picking up the energy of like some men feel like i feel like it's the people that know you okay so the men that know you feel like um you're gonna be a rags to riches story or you already are or that you attract very influential people okay like you pen number three would be the type of person even if you are not a boss yourself you are attracting influential people you are attracting a boss you are attracting a company owner you are attracting somebody who's wealthy you are attracting wealthy wealthy clients and you are attracting there's something about you are attracting like people of high society or you catch the attention of people of high society okay like you would be the type of person let's say you go into a coffee shop and then the owner of the coffee shop comes in you would the owner of the coffee shop would have their eyes on you okay or they would favor you even if you are a guy okay even if you are a guy i feel like your boss would favor you or you know like in movies sometimes where there's like a big boss and this big boss have somebody who they favor and then um yeah this is what i'm picking up like you are favored by people by influential people or you are favored by big cooperations or you are favored there's something about you are favored by big people or you are a big person yourself i'm also picking up yeah i'm picking up the energy like this is just the beginning i'm picking up the energy here of like um why am i hearing that i'm also hearing like you like people or men perceive you as i keep feeling it like a boss a gangster you know like a gangster <laughs> like a spiritual gangster an intellectual gangster you know how to you know how to hmm, let me see I'm being brought to the movie The Great Gatsby and I'm also being being brought to the Wolf of Wall Street. You know these like I'm also being brought to the pursuit of happiness. Okay, there's something about like again like a Rex to Riches story or that again you would be from the whole crowd, the whole classroom. You might also have been like the favorite um student of a teacher. Okay. There's something about men favor you or men see that you are favored by bigger people okay depending on if you're talk thinking about other dudes men see you as like favored by bigger people okay or that you somehow attract really like you know like people with a big presence okay 
We also have the Capricorn you. So there's also something about reputation. Okay, men feel like they have to have a good reputation or they are, men also feel like they have to have a good reputation or they have to be a boss themselves to sit on your table. Okay, there's something going on. People want to be on your level. So people feel like you are, oh, there's a lot of men that feel like you are out of their league or they have to like bring more, that you only are surrounded by other people that are like a boss or um that if they don't have this if they don't have this willpower and this strength or if they don't have yeah if they don't have this willpower and the strength that they that they are misplaced on your table because i'm picking up you're not the type of person to settle for a mediocre life there's nothing wrong with a mediocre life but i feel like you are somebody who is striving for bigger things or it just so happens that um bigger things are attracted to you if that makes sense okay let me see that's interesting give me a few more cards here spirit because we have the hermit here that's interesting i feel like there's a lot of men that again feel like you are either married like you come from a good household maybe your parents have money your dad has money um something about somebody here has money or you have like a good reputation i also feel like if there's like men that know each other talking and when they talk like when if there's men that know each other and they talk about you there's nothing bad that they can say about you and even if they like i don't know there's something about you have a good reputation amongst men or men see you as a boss or um again that you attract people off that are like very big or that you're going to be like a big person yourself in the future or that you are the you that you are the favorite student favorite student of your teacher that your boss favors you because i'm picking up like there's like a boss energy or there's like a ooh, i'm also picking up this energy here if you are attracting people of higher social status these people see themselves in you but they see you as a beginner okay and then they want to push your potential i'm also hearing to um walk into somebody's footsteps or something like that and we talked about it we've only just begun so there's something about it that men see you as as if you have like so much potential i'm also picking up the energy here if i could describe the energy okay because this image is like i don't know I, but i also feel like there's a lot of men that ask themselves or a lot of people that ask themselves why why you okay so there could be an energy where women ask themselves why this beautiful man, this boss, chose you, okay? This might also something that will happen in the future, okay, for some of you guys. Or there could be an energy why this boss lady, why did she choose you, okay? Something about why did they choose you? I don't know what this is about, okay? Now if I look at this image here, again, it's so like it's so simple, but it's so beautiful. I don't know. There could also be an energy where people see you as like a natural beauty or um, there's so much beauty in your simplicity or um, that you are like a very simplistic person, but at the same time like very lush. There's something about you have, there's something lush about your energy, something like, oh, you know, it catches the attention. You are a boss lady, a boss. You have this energy to you, okay? As if you could, you know, like demand the whole room or as if you could take on a stage or something like that if you wanted to. Um, but at the same time, you are so simplistic, like um, you're so simplistic with your, with your approach, okay? You're very simplistic with your approach or there's something like there's so much beauty in your simplicity i don't know what this means or i don't know why people say that but people feel like um that's interesting people feel like you have like a simple beauty or that you yeah i'm i'm, I'm hearing like something about simplicity okay I'm also being brought to like a model who just wears like a white t-shirt and jeans but her face, her energy is enough to capture the whole room and then there's like so much simplicity in 
how she's dressing but there's like this lush energy in her aura in her face if that makes sense i don't know okay it could also be the other way around where you have such a lush outfit but then your personality is very simplistic and very like kind and polite okay does that make sense I'm also being brought to, for some odd reason, I'm being brought to an artist and I'm seeing them picking uh, picking up a brush and paint and then they're starting to paint and I'm seeing another person looking at your painting and they're saying um, you're gonna become the next great artist or at some point your paintings are gonna be worth like 3,000, 30,000 dollars, euros, whatever. Yeah, I'm being brought to... Does, I feel like somebody wants to open up their own gallery or do something with art because now I'm being brought to an art gallery. Okay. I'm being brought to an art gallery and I'm seeing like people come into your art gallery or your exhibition and it's kind of like you attract big people to your... You are a small artist, but you attract big people to your to your gallery. I'm not saying that you are an artist, but I'm trying to explain the energy. And then they come in and then they look at your painting and they, in their mind's eye, they see that five years from now, you're going to be, <clears throat> you're going to be one of the big ones or your this painting is going to multiply or even triple in its worth, in its value. Okay. There's something about a long investment. Men feel like, oh, men feel like they, oh, that's interesting. Men feel like in the long run, you, or like you, you have a lot of endurance or you, um, in the long run, you are going to, I feel like they've, I feel like men feel like you are very intelligent when it comes to your future like i'm picking up the energy of somebody who's very disciplined to not go out and party they stay at home and they write their poetry okay and people are like why are you why are you not going out and having fun and you're like well because i can have fun later but now i want to work on my stuff okay so you are very very um um you are very uh how do you say that you are very disciplined, but I, I don't even want to call it disciplined. More so feels like um, laser focus. It feels like you have like a laser focus or men feel like... Um, men feel like whenever they see you that you seem as if you are important or as if you have Im something important to do. But again, if people know you, they see that you are working hard now so that you can enjoy your life later or there's something going on with when people are in the club you are improving yourself and then it and then in the long run i'm also hearing you're the last one laughing or the last one who's laughing is the with a winner or something like that oh i'm also picking up the energy of people like underestimated you um or there could be there could be people that underestimated you and now they see you and they feel like wow i should have never underestimated pile number three or this could be something that will happen in the future okay or people start to see like oh pile number three is really on their way um to really make a name out of themselves or that you you really like that you walk around with pride because you had enough endurance to stick to something and then it somehow brings you in a very fortunate position with very fortunate people or it brings fortune to you does that make sense let me see men also feel like you have a lot of men that are waiting like that there's like if you wanted to if you are a lady that a lot of men probably are attracted to you or you have like a yeah that you have like a very um full dms or you probably have a date every weekend okay let me see how do men view pie number two what's going on did i show you the emperor here okay the emperor is a boss okay the emperor is a boss and then we have the hermit here and it's interesting because the emperor and the um hermit are two opposite energies when we look at tarot okay because the hermit is about being happy with nothing and the emperor is about having everything okay yeah, there's something about nothing and everything and even if we look at this card here 
okay? Men could also view you as somebody who had nothing and then they worked their ass off to have everything now, okay? Let me see, how do men view pile number three? What's going on? Eight of Wands. Men view you as somebody who's growing very fast or that you are mature beyond your years or that you are, I'm hearing there's also this intelligence, but your intelligence comes from like futuristic intelligence, kind of like, you know, when you start something now, I'm being brought to like Jeff Bezos, to be honest with you, like, I feel like there's a lot of men that see you as a genius or that it turns out that you were a genius all along or... I'm also I'm wow, I'm also hearing wow that's so interesting I'm also hearing like um some men feel like you were just chosen to you were just chosen kind of like which is actually not necessarily the truth because you choose your path like but they feel like you were just chosen out of all the people you were the lucky one to be chosen I don't know to be chosen for what I don't know okay or that you were the lucky one to to succeed at something or again that you somehow you're gonna be like wealthy and rich at some point or you already are or that you're gonna run a business at some point or you already are or there's something about like I feel like you men feel like you are very intelligent when it comes to economics and business or when it comes to like mm, mm, let me see they feel like men feel like you are very intelligent but the intelligence comes from oh that's interesting men feel like you are I keep feeling like, like you understood the game you're one of the you're one of the big people or you're becoming one of the big people i don't know what the fuck they mean with that let me see men feel like um again that you're growing very fast or that um something in your life is growing very fast or that you make progress very fast something like that that you are like a um a person who grows very fast or um Again, also this energy of like laser focused. Okay. Overall, men view you as like a very successful man, a very successful woman. Okay, let me see. How do men view pen number? You see, they look into the future. Look at that. Mmm. Look at that energy. This is what I was talking about. This is kind of like that you know what to do. Like you can, you are three steps ahead of other people. Even if you are not in your physical reality, but when they talk to you, you are three steps ahead um, with your plans or with the future. Like, oh, I'm going to invest into real estate today so that it pays off 10 years from now. Does that make sense? There's something about your intelligence is about long term. It's about like making decisions now that only show that they were right in the future. That is so interesting with the nine of wands here again, like you are somebody, men view you as somebody who doesn't quit. You are like a winner, not a quitter is what I'm hearing or that you have a lot of endurance to walk a long path or to do something that is very like, I'm also hearing that a men view you as somebody who is really good at or that you, that you can handle challenges or you are a boss at handling challenges or, um, that there's like that there's whatever life throws at you you know how to i'm also hearing you know how to make lemonade out of lemons is what i'm picking up here this is how men view you let me get one more card here how do men view you how do men see you the universe yeah i'm also yeah i'm also hearing god's favorite or the chosen one god's favorite um they feel like the universe is working in your favor or that you have a strong connection with God, the strong connection with the universe. God is blessing you. The universe is blessing you. Okay. And the universe is also something about like, you are like one of the brightest stars in the sky. I don't know how to explain it here. Okay. But you are definitely for the long run. Like when men look at you, they feel like, um, almost as if you are an investment i know it sounds a little bit weird but what i'm trying to say is that 
there's people that drain your pockets like gold diggers okay but you would be the opposite you would make your partner more successful you would multiply the income of your partner you would um make your partner more healthier okay because i feel like um, i really feel like you have your shit together or you have your life together or that's how men view you and they feel like when they are in a relationship with you or when they um get the chance to be with you that you will help them to get their life together um or something like that and then there's other men okay especially when we talk about sexually there's men that feel like you are a boss lady and they want to be the boss next to you like that's my boss lady does that make sense this is what i was saying i'm being brought to the movie lucy okay i'm being brought to the movie lucy i'm being brought to the movie limitless as if they feel like there was something happening in your life that made you this intelligent or that there was something traumatic i also feel like maybe like people that know you know that there was something traumatic happening in your life that completely changed your life it was like a blessing in disguise or how your unfortunate situation turned into fortune making lemonade out of lemons okay so i'm being brought to all these like yeah i'm but in in the movie limitless the man takes a pill and becomes like a genius and then he goes to like parties with bigger people and he speaks so eloquently that bigger people give him his business their business card and then all of a sudden he's attracting so many people he was also an author okay and all of a sudden he gets like book deals and stuff like that okay the hacker there's something about i'm also hearing like you how can i even say that okay let me say it like that men feel like you cracked the code when it comes to the matrix or you cracked some type of code you'd crack the code for success or you cracked the code for i don't know manifestation there's something you you somehow crack the code you are a genius men see you as like a genius or men see you as somebody who's very important or somebody who's like really like you can make something huge happen in your life or that you somehow crack the code here or that you are so also being brought to like guys i know this sounds a little bit like weird but hear me out i'm also picking up something about illuminati and i'm picking up like this energy of like how the, this you know the, those people that are the one percent that have the money of like that have like this one percent in society allegedly that have like all the money in the world and people feel like you i'm also being brought to the movie um in time by justin timberlake and it, i keep feeling something about high society because justin timberlake was he did not oh my god that's what it is okay so justin timberlake in the saw in the movie in time okay if you want to watch it watch it because that's how men kind of like perceive you or view you so in the movie justin timberlake um didn't have nothing he he was living in poverty and i think there was like something traumatic happening in his life and then he ended up in a very weird place with very weird circumstances and then he saved a man's life and this man was wealthy but in time they were wealthy with time okay so this man was so wealthy he was like a millionaire or like a billionaire or something like that and he favored justin timberlake because justin timberlake helped him okay and justin timberlake could have robbed him out of his wealth but he didn't so justin timberlake kind of had like good karma okay so men also maybe view you as somebody who has good karma or that you are god's child or that you work for god or that god loves you or something like that but this wealthy man then favored justin timberlake and gave all his time all his money to justin timberlake okay and that's how justin timberlake came into the high society but he didn't come into the high society and completely changed he kind of like tricked the high society to help the people in need does that make sense so there's something about like a secret agent energy here or men view you as like i don't know they're not quite sure like how can i explain that energy here again that you are somehow favored and you being favored has like brings some type of fortune to you or that you are the cho that you are the chosen one to do something this could even be like that you are the chosen one to do something in your family that you're the first one that makes ten thousand euros ten thousand dollars in your family meaning that god chose you to bring wealth to your family does that make sense 
or there's also this energy that men would um, feel like you would be the chosen one in the friend circle to um, convince a manager to work with you with with your friends and you <laughs> does that make sense because I'm hearing you have like a talent of like convincing big people is what I'm picking up here or something about like th this is something that naturally happens I don't know what the fuck is going on here let's move to pa <laughs> sorry let's move to how women view you okay okay let's see oh yeah one more thing men view you as I'm hearing like ride or die like especially the men who are just as ambitious as you and just as um focuses you on making your life or making your future better they just feel like you are their ride or die or like you are the the perfect woman the perfect man for this long journey to go against the matrix or to you to use the to use the um like what like this matrix or what like to use the strategies of the economy that they use to manipulate us that you use like I don't know something about like you understood how how society tricks you and now you use what society or how society tricks you to your advantage or something like that I don't know how to explain it guys but I hope you guys know where I'm coming from there's something about manipulation tactics you understand them or you understood how you were manipulated but now you use it against or like you have more knowledge you have more knowledge about how the economy works how um high society works how people become rich you have more knowledge about it so now you use it to your advantage but you never forget where you came from so you're still humble or something along those lines and men feel like you're just the perfect woman the perfect man to make it in life to 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 make it in life to succeed in life to build a good life okay okay let's go to the women how women see you women see you as somebody who's very um hard working okay women feel like you are very hard working women also feel like you are like a great host like if you invite people to you okay um or that you have like i'm hearing you have like a very inviting nature women feel like they can easily approach you because pen number one um women were or like there was an energy of intimidation with you guys i feel like women do not feel intimidated by you at all or even if they do, they know it's their own insecurity because you are a sweetheart. Women see you as a sweetheart with the Nine of Cups here. Okay, women see you as like a sweetheart. Women see you as somebody that is easily approachable. Women see you as somebody who's like very sweet, very kind, very inviting. Okay, women see you as somebody who's very polite, helpful, um... And I'm also picking up this energy, this is really beautiful, but I'm picking up this energy here that women see you as somebody who really understands them or who really gets them or that you are somebody like you, how can I say that? I'm hearing you ask the right questions and you under you really understand them. You really understand what they're like hiding or there could also be an energy you would, you would be the type of woman, the type of man to say, hey, what's going on? And they didn't even tell you that they don't feel good. But you asking the question makes them realize like, oh, pie number three already knows that I'm going through something. Does that make sense? Let me see. Let me get a few more cards here. Yeah, women feel like... Women feel like you... That you are there when they are hurting or I'm also hearing that you are not judging them there's something about women feel like you are a woman or a man that don't that doesn't judge them or that you don't have time I'm also hearing that you don't have time to judge or compete or that you don't have time to I don't know start a bitch fight or something like that that you are really I'm hearing that you are really all about like harmony and positivity and there's something about like <laughs> Women also view you as somebody who's very, very strong, but your strength comes from 
your big heart women feel like you have like a huge heart and it's very visible and that you always help or like you would also i'm also picking up this energy you would be the type of person to like when something falls down you would be the one to pick it up for the other person or to open the door like very like very i'm also hearing like you were raised really good especially like when it's like older women that encounter you they feel like you were raised very well you are very polite or you come from a good again you come from good parents or a good household or that you were raised very very well or for some of you guys that your children are raised very very well or that you are like a really really good mother here okay let me see women also feel like you are extremely hot or sexy okay so i also wouldn't be surprised if you if you are a lady watching that you also attract a lot of ladies that maybe start to become bi curious or that you maybe also encountered women that were interested in you although you are straight for example okay but overall women feel like you are like a really good host you are very warm and very kind you have like a very warm kind nature to you okay yeah, I'm also picking up this energy of like soft and fluffy. So there's something about like, this could even be like the way that you dress is like soft and fluffy. Or you have like a very soft and fluffy energy to you. Okay. Women really like to be around you because when they are around you, it feels like... Um, I'm also hearing women feel like whenever they talk to you, it's like a healing conversation. Or you come to their aid or you are somebody you... I don't know. I'm also hearing that you see their pain but when you see their pain you also tell them about your pain i don't know how to explain it. it's kind of like women really feel like you're not trying to be perfect or look perfect or act perfect and that i'm also hearing women feel like you are very quirky and they actually really like that about you with the aquarius energy here okay I'm also hearing women feel like you are one in a million. Do you know why? Because I'm picking up here, there's a lot of women that really are very grateful that you don't... Because there's a lot of competition between women, right? And there's a lot of... Hold on, guys. There's a lot of women that compete with other women. And women feel like you are one in a million because you don't compete your... You believe in sisterhood or you believe in unity or you believe in we're all in this together that's interesting let's see you're not intimidating at all you have like a very sweet sweet kind energy okay almost to the point i'm also hearing mama bear <laughs> okay women also see you as somebody who has all reasons to be prideful but you're not at all like you you barely have an ego you barely have pride and um, you barely like as if you are like i don't know as if you are like a lush like a very lush or a royal lion but you know like how the lion is the king of the jungle because we have the strength card here but the lion is not walking around telling everybody they're the lion okay they're just existing so there's something about like um women feel like you're not bragging about what you achieve or about your beauty that you're just existing you just i'm also hearing you're just the way you are you are who you are okay and it's no it's not nothing about like pretending or nothing about like having to um how do you say that having to prove your beauty having to prove that you are um that you are special or something like that. I'm also hearing you're special in your own kind of way. And you being so quirky, I'm also picking up that a lot of women feel like you have very quirky interests or that you do certain things that are very quirky or that you dress in a very quirky way for some of you guys. Or that you, again, like you do something quirky or you have like a quirky hobby and they actually really like that about you because it's like, I feel like it, from the beginning people might feel like you are perfect okay or that you have the perfect reputation but then when they get to know you they, they see that you are clumsy sometimes that you sometimes stutter and it makes them more comfortable around you that there's no pressure to be perfect and I'm also picking up this energy that you make women realize okay um, that you make women realize that they are beautiful I don't know how to explain it it's kind of like you make other women see their own beauty or you make other women feel beautiful and then and then they feel like oh it's pie number three and me and we're both beautiful so there's something about like you trigger people to even like um 
lose their jealousy is what I'm picking up here. There's something about like, let's say there's somebody who's like envious of you. You have this beautiful talent of showing this person, hey, I'm just a regular, regular, schmegular person. I'm like, I'm not flawless. You know, like how some women come across as if they want to show the world that they are flawless. You're the opposite. You're like, I'm not flawless at all. Look at me. And then I feel like for a lot of you guys, you bring down the guard of a lot of people that they feel like, okay, I judged a book by its cover. Pen number three is way more like, um, way more flawed than I thought, but not in a negative way, more this energy of like, why was I envious of her or why was I jealous of her when she is, when she's not even trying to make me feel that way. She's not provoking me. She's not doing, I'm hearing she's not doing anything to make me feel this way. So you do make people somehow realize that they are the problem, but not that they're the problem. They realize that you're such a sweetheart and they shouldn't be so mean to you, especially if you encounter things like that. And then for others of you, I'm picking up the energy that women feel like they just love that you are like, I'm picking up this women that really like that you are clumsy or quirky or that you make like very odd jokes or quirky jokes or that you say things that are like stupid or funny or something like that yeah I'm, I'm hearing women see you as somebody who doesn't take themselves seriously when the whole world sees again men view you as somebody who's important but you don't take yourself seriously or um i'm also hearing you lighten the load or um you make the energy like a little bit more like how can i say that if like somebody's like very um, nervous to meet you um you would um, make them feel like they can, you know, loosen up and breathe because you're just as clumsy as them or just as nervous as them. Does that make sense? I don't know how to explain it, okay? People actually love that you're clumsy or quirky or um, people really like that, I don't know, that you embrace everything, you know, that you embrace an ugly cry, that you laugh really loudly, um, and that you don't have to look perfect while laughing. Does that make sense? I don't know how to explain it. It's like you're not pretentious, you're very real and authentic. This is how women see you, okay? Let's get a few more cards. How do women see pile number three? You make people feel comfortable is the word. We have the judgment card here. Yeah, you you make some for some of you guys, you make people again realize that um there's no reason to hate you because some people maybe hate you from afar for some odd reason but then when they come close to you they realize that there's no reason for that or there's no reason to see you as competition or there's no reason to be intimidated by you because you're a sweetheart you see how do women view you what's going on how do women view you now there's two sides to the story not everybody feels like that about you but let me see how do women view you what's going on Men also view you as somebody who sees the world with different eyes, but the way you see the world with different eyes is like kind of like a genius ahead of their years. Like when Jeff Bezos started Amazon, people probably thought that he was crazy. Come to find out 20 years later, he's a genius. That's what I'm picking up here for men. Okay. Oh, hold on. <laughs> you see, and I'm like, I'm like, there's this clumsy energy that I pick up here, but it's like a very um, warm, heartfelt, clumsy energy, or like a nervous laughing, or I don't know, kind of like I'm just as nervous as you, or um, I'm just like you. Okay, but let me see. And then, if you are a man, thinking about how women see you, uh, women feel like they don't have to be perfect around you. Okay, or that again, that they don't have to be like all serious with you or they don't have to like show their chocolate side or they really enjoy like being like funny and clumsy and making jokes with you and stuff like that. I don't know. It's, it's like a really beautiful energy, lighthearted, I would say. Let's see. How do women view pen number three? What's going on? The sun card. I told you. <laughs> A very light-hearted energy here in the full card you see you are like I'm hearing you are a jokester you make jokes you make people laugh women see you as somebody who's really a little sunshine or somebody again who doesn't take life seriously who doesn't take themselves seriously and somebody who just wants to be happy okay 
somebody who doesn't who wouldn't who wouldn't hurt a fly somebody who's very imaginative okay and your imaginative energy people actually really like that i'm also picking up a women see as somebody who's very dreamy um but you would be the type of person to make your dreams happen so it's not just oh you are dreamy and delusional no you are dreamy and you make your dreams a reality okay let me see yeah women also view you as somebody who um mostly is in a good mood or that you found something in your life that really makes you happy that you i'm hearing women see you as somebody who's fulfilled like a very fulfilled individual or an indiv individual that found excuse me an, an, an individual that found what makes them happy so this happiness never goes away is what i'm picking up here and then with the sun card here again that you would be a really good mother or that you are an extremely good mother or that you're you have like really good manners or that you were raised very very well okay i'm getting like the energy of like a princess you know like in disney movies that is like very polite and is very like um speaks very eloquently okay but not in a cocky way but more so like in a clumsy funny way okay or that you sometimes say things that um make people laugh and you didn't intend to but it's just your clumsiness or something like that i don't know what's going on here let me get one more how do people view pile number three how to how do women view pile number three three of swords yeah i'm picking up this energy here that that's interesting. Let me get one more. How do women view pile number three? Yeah, that you have a big heart. Women view you as somebody who has a big heart. And women also view you as somebody who... I don't know, I feel like there was a very um, intense breakup that you maybe went through. Maybe you're talking about something like that. But I'm picking up the energy here. Yeah, it for me this feels like how women view you as, as if... You become better and better and better after every breakup that you go through especially if you know like the women around you or um i'm hearing that you that you healed your broken heart is actually what i'm hearing that you are that you healed the, your broken heart or that you are a healed fulfilled individual or that you really leveled up or elevated or really went to the next stage in your life after every breakup here or there's a particular breakup that you bounced back from and people are like whoa or like women are like whoa look at pie number three like she was heartbroken last year now look at her now she's the happiest she's ever been okay or you could be somebody who's like women also see you as somebody who's really good at healing or every time they talk to you they feel like there's something that is healing inside of them okay you, you, you heal people with your energy is what I'm picking up here. Or you heal people with your authenticity, with your simplicity. Especially like women is what I'm picking up here. Okay. Can beautiful pie number three. I hope you guys like this reading. <laughs> um, I'm going to see my next one and I wish you a lovely day. Bye.